Today we're making cinnamon buns. Hi everyone, welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. Today we're making one of my favorite autumn treats. There's nothing better than the smell of cinnamon on a Saturday morning when the leaves are starting to change color and you've got that little bit of dew on the ground and it's just a perfect way to cozy up and welcome in autumn. These cinnamon buns are a perfect replica for that famous mall brand that you all know and love. So let's get started. See the description below for a list of ingredients. Here I have 244 milliliters of whole milk warmed to just above body temperature and to this I'm going to add 11 grams of yeast. We're going to give this a little stir and let our yeast get nice and bubbly. Set this aside while we mix our other ingredients. Into the bowl of our stand mixer goes 500 grams of plain flour, all purpose will work too, 100 grams of granulated sugar and 1 teaspoon of salt. We're going to start that mixing using our dough hook. Once you start to see the yeasty bubbles forming, add it into your bowl with your flour. Mix in your two eggs. Once they're incorporated, add in 76 grams of softened, unsalted butter. And then turn up the mixer to high and let it knead for about 10 minutes. You'll know it's ready when the dough starts to clean itself off the side of the bowl. We're also going to do a window pane test just to make sure. So to do this, we're going to pull up a little bit of dough between our fingers and make sure the light shines through. Transfer your soft and silky dough into a pre-buttered bowl. Cover it and let it rest for one hour. After an hour, your dough should have doubled in size. For our filling, we're going to mix 220 grams of dark brown sugar and five whole tablespoons of ground cinnamon. We're going to give it a good mix so we can sprinkle it evenly over our dough. Lightly flour your work surface. We want to roll this dough until it's about 18 inches wide and about a quarter of an inch thick. I like to stretch it into a bit of a rectangle before we start rolling. Sprinkle it with just a little bit of flour on top and off we go. Now that our dough is rolled out, we're going to spread on 100 grams of unsalted softened butter. I like to use a nice thin layer of butter and I find the easiest way to do this is using my hands. Too much butter will cause your filling to pour out of the bottom of your cinnamon buns, so make sure to just give it a nice light layer. And now for our cinnamony sugar. We're going to sprinkle it all over our dough, leaving about a one inch lip on one of the long edges. Once all of your cinnamony sugar has been sprinkled on, I like to just gently press it down into that butter so that you get those beautiful swirls in your buns. Make sure to leave that little lip at the bottom. I'm going to start rolling this up towards me, just gently working it in and making sure we have a nice tight cinnamony swirl. This dough is just so soft and beautiful to work with. Once you get to that edge, you're going to pull up the remaining dough and pinch it onto the top of your roll. Now that it's all rolled up, it's worked out into about a 24 inch log. I'm going to cut these into two inch segments, but I'm actually just going to mark them and I'm going to cut them using a special little trick. I'm using a piece of unwaxed dental floss, but really strong thread will work as well. And this gives you perfectly clean cuts with your cinnamon buns. Slide your floss under your roll until you reach that mark and then just bring the two ends together and you get that perfect swirly cinnamon bun. If you want to eat these today, cover them up and let them prove again for 30 minutes. While they're proving, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll bake them for about 20 to 30 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. But if like me, you like eating them first thing in the morning, I'm gonna cover these up in plastic wrap and stick them in the fridge overnight to prove slowly. It's the next morning and I've taken my cinnamon buns out of the fridge to come up to room temperature and finish their proof. I've also started to preheat the oven. Now's a great time to start on our cream cheese frosting. I fitted my mixer with my balloon whisk and to the bowl I'm adding 88 grams of unsalted softened butter and 100 grams of cream cheese. We're going to beat these together until they're nice and smooth. We're going to sift in 180 grams of powdered sugar. 
It's really important to sift it here because we don't want any lumps altering the whipped texture. To this, we'll add a pinch of salt and just a tiny bit of vanilla, about a half teaspoon. Start your mixer on a low speed just until your sugar has been absorbed by that butter. Then crank it up and let it whip. Our frosting has lightened up in color and it's nice and whipped up. I like to put half in the fridge so that it gets that really firm texture and you can serve it alongside your cinnamon buns, the way the classic mole ones do. And the other half will get slathered all over the buns as soon as they come out of the oven. Once they come out of the oven, cut in between them with a knife and slather them with half of that icing so it drips into those crevices. Let them cool slightly and then spread the remaining icing on top and enjoy! just like those ones that I used to have growing up. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video, likes are free, share it with your friends, comment down below, and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time.